We're at the annual event celebrating the NWCAS, that's the Northwest Arkansas Children's Shelter, and Jim is interviewing Emily Reynolds, a board member of that organization. Now tell me, first of all, how long have you been in Northwest Arkansas? I have been in Northwest Arkansas since about 2006. Okay, and you're in the legal department at uh, Walmart? I am, yes, I'm in-house at Walmart. Okay. And when you first came up here, did you know about the shelter? And I began as a volunteer with the shelter about four years ago, and actually I started helping out with the gala. Um, since then, I took on a more volunteer role at the shelter with the children and was very privileged to be asked to become a board member about a year and a half ago. I had spent a lot of time working on sponsorships for the shelter and, and spending time with the kids out at the shelter. Yeah, what has changed in your role? I mean, since you went uh, from being a volunteer to stepping up to being a board member, I mean, how much more responsibility has it been? Um, a lot more meetings and, and that type of thing, um, and I've really tried to stay engaged with our sponsorship team, making sure that we're securing those good relationships out in the community so that we can make sure we have enough funds to do what we need to for some of our most vulnerable kids in the community. Uh, let's talk about the kids. What do you see going on out there that's needed in this community? First and foremost, the kids have a chance to discover hope for the first time in their lives. A lot of these kids have been neglected. They've been abused. They didn't know where their next meal was coming from before they got to the shelter. And so we're able to provide those basic needs that so many of them never experienced before. But beyond that, we also give them a place where they get to experience some of the joys of childhood for the first time in their lives. Things as simple as a trip to McDonald's to play on the playground and have a happy meal. Some of these kids have never done. And so we, we really get to field trips, educational opportunities, doctor's visits, dentist appointments that they never got to experience or the things that they needed were able to provide them while they're at the shelter. What are the programs that y'all would do additionally if y'all had some additional sponsorship dollars for it? Certainly there's always more opportunity to expand our resources in terms of education, field trips, just just different things to, to get the kids those experiences that otherwise they haven't been able to have. Very good. Uh, how about you guys? Do you all have some questions of Emily? Are there any sponsors in particular that you'd like to shout out? Certainly General Mills, Hershey, Kimberly Clark, Walmart are some of our big sponsors for this evening and we couldn't do the event without them. This is your annual event, the large event that you have for honoring the sponsors that you have and for having a, it sounds like a very good program tonight. This event is our biggest event of the year. We've got, um, in addition to this, we do have a golf tournament that's an annual event and a couple of other events, but this is our big night out, our big gala event. We're very fortunate to have some really great entertainment with Thompson Square tonight, and it's just a night for everybody to get together to celebrate those that are involved with the shelter and to have a good time to raise some money for our kids. <laughs> <laughs>